budget mine on how to get away with pants. You know, we always ask our parents for something in our lives, and most likely they said no. So <laughs> now, after this presentation, I'm going to tell you how to make the no to yes. First, you figure out what you want. Do you want a car, maybe some extra cash, <laughs> then you pair of shoes you want, maybe a tattoo, you know, you figure out what you want to ask your parents. And then, once you figure out what you want to ask your parents, you're going to do research. <laughs> you're going to say why you want it. For example, if you want a car, you say, Mom, um, I car would be good so that I don't have to, you don't have to pick me up every time I go home. I can just drive home for holidays. You know, you do some research. You're going to have sources. Hmm. If you want a tattoo, you're going to tell her how much it costs, when you're going to get it, what are you going to get it of. You know, if you have a car, where are you going to buy it? You know, you want to have that information backed up for when you talk to parents. Okay. And then, once you have your sources, you're going to bring up the topic. You're not going to ask them straight out. You don't want to answer right away. You're just going to bring up the topic so it's like in their minds and they know that you're thinking about it, you know, you think about like new shoes, a car, having your apartment, <laughs> you know. All right, you're going to walk away. <laughs> uh, you're not going to be like asking for an answer because obviously it's going to say no. So you're going to walk away. That way they're going to think about it overnight. They're going to see with it. So like, you know, walk away. Don't ask for an answer right away. This is when you suck it up. You're going to do as much as you can in a week. <laughs> Washing dishes, clean, taking out trash, sweeping, mopping. You're going to do as much as you can. You're the slave. Uh, it sucks, but it'll be worse in the end. So literally, you're going to be a slave. You're going to involve <laughs> everyone. That includes washing a dog, walking a dog, picking up your brother from like soccer practices. You need to like involve as many people as you can and that way it shows, it shows to them that you are actually involving people. All right, when you ask, you wanna ask at dinner, when you're watching TV, <laughs> relax, not when they're paying bills or getting stressed out, you know, <laughs> bring up the topic and ask them nicely. Say, mom, I really think that call would be a good time at this point. The answer is no, all right, you're not gonna freak out. Like my parents are gonna be like, no. Whose parents would say yes on the first <laughs> try? Don't freak out, I'm gonna tell you how to make that no to a yes. So expect a no the first time. You're not gonna whine, you're gonna sweet talk. So for next <laughs> day or two, you're gonna be like, mom, that lip gloss color is really nice on you. <laughs> but dad, you had such a long day at work. Let me bring a cup of coffee. You know, don't say that though. Don't say, hi, a cupcake. You know, <laughs> make it reasonable. You're gonna ask again. Maybe you're playing like a family game. I don't know. But uh, you're gonna be up topic and ask again. Most likely, they're gonna say no again. If they say no once, why not say no again, you know? So expect a no, unless you have really cool parents. Now you're gonna bribe everybody to be on your side. Aunts, <laughs> uncles, grandparents, cousins. So it's not one against two, but it's like 10 of you against two. Mm -hmm. And be like, mom, grandma thinks it's a good idea for me <laughs> to like get that pair of shoes, cause it'll <laughs> tell them something you're cheap. You got an A on paper, you got an award, your boss gave you a raise, you know, you know, you want to like talk good about yourself. So they'll be like proud of you and they'll think that you deserve an award. You know, tell them something good. All right, you're going to ask again this time. Remember, these are your parents. They're like creatures. They're like, they're mean. They're not <laughs> going to say yes. They don't want you to have what you want, you know. So when you ask again, you want to be really nice and sincere about it. And if the answer is still no, don't freak out because my parents are really stubborn too, and they're gonna say no. Like, <laughs> especially if you want like something like get your own apartment or get a car, they're expensive. You're gonna guilt them. <laughs> you're gonna say, mom, all my friends have this like, all these cash, like they give you. My parents be like, mom, dad, this is like unreasonable. Like all my, all my friends have them, why can't I have them? <laughs> all right, you're gonna say no again? Don't be like that. Don't cry, don't, you were not five years old. We're adults here. We can't be like, well, you know? <laughs> don't so much can tantrums. What you wanna do is that you wanna be smart about this. You're gonna be a salesperson. You bargain, you negotiate. You give up something to get something. For example, mom, if you buy me a car, I'll pay for insurance, or I pay for gas. Or if you get your own apartment, you'll be like, you can pay the rent and I'll buy like my food. You know, <laughs> that way you can get what you want, when you want from your parents. So it's gonna take a couple of tries, it's gonna be like a few weeks. However, in the end, you're gonna get what you want from your parents. And that way, your mission is accomplished. Okay, thank you. <laughs>
Great job, John.